What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. Today we are going to be building our next derelict car and uh, you guys can see we found the chassis right here. This is the chassis of an old school Volkswagen Beetle. Now if you guys are trying to follow this along at home if you want to find the chassis it's right here. It's over on the west side of the map, the green area. It's kind of in between this tune-up shop and this gas station. Head on over here and uh, boom, there it is. We've got the Beetle Chassis. That's kind of what I want to do with it. I want to make this thing an off-road vehicle. I think this could be a badass off-road vehicle. All right, cool. So we've got that. We're going to head on over to our derelicts here. We're going to go to the Beetle. And we've got four parts that we need to discover. So the first one is going to be right here. It's by a major highway and a dip. It's going to be a dip in a major highway somewhere that goes kind of like completely down. I think it's it's right here. Definitely right here. Boom. There we have it. All right. We've got it marked. Ooh, this is actually, this is really close to where we are right now. All right. So our first part is not too far off. We're going to fast travel back to this tune-up shop. We're going to see what we can find. Um, I'm gonna go to the left. Let's get a voice. But yeah, this is gonna be fun. I, I like. We have the the BMW X6, which isn't a bad off-roader, but I I really want like a super good off-road vehicle. Off-road is one of the things you do in speedless when you're playing online. You have races and then off-road races, and uh, I I think this is gonna be our best off-roader. I'm gonna max this thing out. We're gonna go all the way to level. 400, 399, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to see what we can do. All right, so. I was hoping we were going to be able to make it up there. I don't think we're going to be able to make it up there. That's fine. We're going to have to go around this little rock cropping here. And there's got to be a way up there on this side. Am I crazy? I don't... I don't see the way we get up there. Oh... No? I thought we might be able to go up this backside here. I mean, can we just get close enough that... No, there's gotta be a way up there, because there's a chip. There's a chip right there that we're supposed to collect. How are we supposed to get up there, dude? I'm gonna check over here. Ah, this is probably the road that we need. We need to get on something that's gonna take us up to the top of that uh, that tunnel. Ooh, look at this. All right, we've got a little off-road section here. This is this is looking good, boys. Ah, we've got a ramp. Okay, perfect. Now we probably don't want to go too fast. We're just crossing the highway. Maybe something like that. Boom, there it is. Oh, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. It's gonna reset us. Are you kidding me? All right, so that wasn't bad. We need to aim a little bit left. We don't actually want to go for that that blue marker. We also don't want to go too fast. Something like that. Nice. Almost too short right there, but we got it done. That one's actually kind of hard to find. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go, boys. All right. Brand new part found. Looks good to me. Engine and drivetrain. Next up, we've got um, kind of an interesting location. It's by two almost penis looking roads. Um, this really could be anywhere. I think I found it. Is it this right here? Yeah, it's this right here. Okay, so I think it's gonna be about, about maybe right there. All right, let's do it boys. Yes, good stuff. I was a little bit worried about that, but I mean, if you have two huge horseshoe turns 
right next to each other. It's not going to be too hard to find. So we're going to go ahead and head that way. Let's get this thing out in the highway. I like this Raptor, but it just doesn't, it doesn't really get it going for me in terms of the performance. The X6 absolutely demolishes this thing. The Raptor's just kind of limited to how many levels you can get it. I don't think you can get it up to level 399. I think 300 might be the max, so... That just, uh, that just makes it tough. We'd love to use this thing in more off-road races, but... She ain't quick enough. Right, so we're gonna be heading down here. Hopefully this thing isn't too tough to find. These ones that are out here in the desert and the ones that are up in the mountains, so the last one that we just did, they make it kind of difficult because they have all these rocks and areas that you can't really pass through and all kinds of stuff like that, so we got to be careful. We'll be taking the dirt road here. This is a good sign. Yeah, these ones usually make you find a jump that's really hard to find. To be able to reach them. This is interesting. I didn't know you could go through here. I've never seen this before. I definitely think we're headed in the right direction. Go that way. I think it's up on this plateau to our right. This one was actually super, super easy. Let's go, boys. I'll take it. Sometimes those are, it's like, it's kind of tough to find the ramp to be able to jump up to the spot, but that one wasn't bad at all. All right, next up, back to the beetle. We've got part three. Hmm. So that's kind of where two highways meet. We've got like a 90 degree intersection of two highways. Hmm. The only place that I... S I don't think it's down here though. Actually, it's got a dotted line there, which I think, isn't that a railroad track? We have like a railroad track that runs, ah, there it is, okay. It runs through like the center, so we need to find, that looks, I think it's gonna, oh yeah, here's the intersection right here. There's the, okay, so it wasn't a highway, it was just a road. So if we trace that back, it's gonna be a, about right here, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We've got a gas station really close we could fast travel to. That was tricky. Trying to find something in the middle of the map is not easy because there's not a lot of landmarks, but we were able to use that, that train track. Aha! I found it. And we have a ramp right here. Easy. I was gonna say, I don't really see it anywhere, but then all of a sudden we found it. It's got enough speed, let's go boys. Okay, that was the easiest one so far. Don't worry, I just ran right into it. It's not like we're actually gonna have to use this thing. Uh, finally, part number four. Let's see what we're working with here. So this is next to a major highway. Ooh, this is kind of weird. Huh. I'm getting the feeling it's somewhere over here. Yeah. It's right here. Boom. Let's go, boys. 
A little bit of detective work there, and we were able to find it. Hopefully, it's just as easy, as easy to get to, because that last one, I mean, that took almost no effort. We had a fast travel point right next to it, and then we uh, didn't even really have to jump to get there. All right, let's get it. Fourth and final part, then we're going to customize this thing out, and then we're going to race it. I'm excited. It's about the sunset, about the day in the books. I need me some Melissa street racing action. I'm seeing lots of cliffs and plateaus and stuff out here. That's never a good sign. These can be kind of tough to get to because you, you might have to jump from far away. Come on. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, some of the jumps out here are not easy. It's got to be up top to our right. Make sure I'm looking at this right. How do I rem Okay, we're going to remove it. So, it might be a little bit more outside. I mean, the center of that circle is about right here. So, we're, we're, we're looking at the right area. We just got to figure out a way to get up there. These are always tough, dude. How do you get up to that billboard is what I want to know. That could hold some secrets. Do you have any ramps over here? This is a good sign. And we found the part. Let's go, boys. Woo! I knew it had to be something. We found it. All right. Our 1960s bug is ready to go. That's exciting, man. This is actually going to be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to this. All right. So, the Beatles all good to go. We're going to take it back to the garage. We're going to take it out for a short spin here on the runway. I've got a feeling it's going to be probably the worst vehicle that... We've had yet for a derelict in terms of speed. You told me about. Let's do this. I don't want to leave the garage yet. We're going to go over here. Let's set up this beetle. We're going to restore it. Oh, dude. So many cool options. I think race would be awesome. Drift would be interesting. Drag could be cool, but I'm going to go with off-road, dude. We're going to make this thing almost like a... Original Beetle. The bug's not just about looks either. It won rallies back in its day too. Let's go. We're gonna make it almost like a like a beach cruiser type vehicle. So you guys can see 101 horsepower, 101 top speed, zero to 60 in eight seconds, and a 16.4 second quarter mile. Dude. This thing is gonna crawl. 101 horsepower. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we're gonna take this thing out in the runway. This is full throttle. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But it is painfully slow. Let's see what our speed trap is. 80 miles an hour, beautiful. Great work. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is we are gonna take this thing over to a tune-up shop and uh, I've got a lot to do here. I'm, I'm gonna have to spin a lot of wheels. We're gonna have to get a lot of new parts. Wish me luck. I'm gonna cut back once we've done that. Then we're gonna take it into the garage. We're gonna customize it. We'll check out what it looks like as a super build. I totally fast traveled to the wrong thing right there. And then we're gonna take it out for an off-road race. So I'll see you guys there. Peace out. All right, guys, here we go. So this thing is going to be absolutely ridiculous. We got it up to max level in the game, level 399. We have nearly 600 horsepower, a top speed over 200 miles an hour, a 0 to 60 at 2.4 seconds, and a quarter mile under 10 seconds, and a slug bug. What? This thing is absolutely insane, and uh, I, I can't wait, man. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so... 
First up, um, we're gonna have to restore this thing. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go straight to super build status yet, or should we? Maybe we kind of should. I don't really want, like, I, I want to see what it looks like without super build, though. I think I'm gonna go with the, the front rail thing there. I'm just gonna put, like, the new fenders and everything on here. I've got a lot of options. I think I'm gonna go with this. That looks interesting. Because I, I want to see what it all looks like before it, it gets too crazy. And then we'll go through and we'll, we'll fix it later. I don't know. I know that probably wastes a little bit of money, but... I think it's kind of cool to, uh, to be able to see it normally. <laughs> what? Bro, this is dope! That actually looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna go up to the roof now. Roof light bar. I'm gonna put a light bar on there, cause why not? Then the roof, we're gonna put a roof on there. We want the roof with like the cover or just the normal roof? I'm gonna go for normal roof. Dude, that thing actually looks pretty good. So this is what it looks like stock. This is what you're working with when you're going with, with pretty much a stock slug bug. Obviously we've got the, the crazy rear end and stuff, but dude, that looks pretty good. All right. Now I want to see what the super build looks like. What do you think, guys? It's kind of tough. But I think I'm going to go with that, dude. That I mean, that just makes it look like a crazy off-road vehicle. I'm going to go with that. All right. Light bar. I think I'm going to go with uh, with this full light bar right there. That looks good to me. Um, not going to be able to do any splitters like we said. Can we? Oh, we can still put the old fenders on there. Okay. That makes me happier. Because I think those are kind of cool. Tail lights. I'm going to smoke those out. Rear bumper. Can't change it. Diffuser. Nothing available. Exhaust. What is that? I think I'm going to go with this because it's ridiculous, but not absolutely insanely ridiculous. Holy cow. Trunk lid? Don't have any options for that. Spoiler. Do we want to change the spoiler? There are so many oddball options for this vehicle, dude. I really don't understand what's happening right now. Do we want to change up the mirrors a little bit? I'm going to leave them like they are. I think the wheels look good. I think we might be able to change the tires. Those are kind of cool. I like those. But yeah, those, I mean, those wheels look good as they are. So I'm gonna go for the tires here. Which one was it? These. Heck yeah, dude, those look good. Side skirts, do we want to change these up? the big ones on there okay headlights probably want to change these nope don't have the option to hood I'm gonna put the ventilated one on there all right boys oh the mirrors are different I'm gonna go with the the body color mirrors so it makes them the same otherwise that would drive me nuts if this thing had different mirrors on different sides okay I, I think uh, I think that's about all we need there so we've got this thing customized out. We've got to actually get a wrap on there, though, for sure. So we're going to go over here, library, community. Let's see what people have for us. We've got, like, an old army one. We've got this one, which is kind of like the one that we see in all the, the loading screens. We've got a monster energy one. Oh, no, this is Razor. Dude, that's actually pretty dope, and I love Razor stuff. But it kind of looks like monster. I don't know. Hmm. That's not bad. I'm trying to think of what this thing's going to look like when it's all dirty. Ooh, we've got a Cars version here. That's interesting. Red and white. <laughs> Who would do this? Come on now. We've got a... Ooh, the rainbow one actually isn't bad. That's actually kind of dope. I... Th ooh, look at this one too. Um, st 
status error. Dude, this thing looks insane. I kind of like that, but I also kind of like the rainbow one. I'm gonna keep looking. I haven't found one that like really, really stands out to me yet. I mean, I think this one's cool just because we see it in all the, the loading screens, but obviously I don't want to be... Oh, somebody slammed this one. Flames and purple, that looks good. We've got a Pepsi version. Dude. This is tough. I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go back towards the one that had the craziness on it. Ooh, what's this? Outlaw parts. That's not bad. I think I'm gonna go back to that. I, I think it should be one of these two. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go with this one. Just cause it's, it's insane. This is an insane car. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna go with the ridiculous option here. This thing looks so crazy, dude. All right, guys. Um, for, oh, we can't change the, the stance or anything. Cool. I think we're gonna go. I think this is gonna be our go-to off-road vehicle. I, I just, I, I don't see with stats like that and looking that crazy with the super build and stuff, I just, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this. Originally, I was thinking I was gonna do the Bel Air as our off-road vehicle, but I, I don't think I, I wanna move from this. This thing looks so cool. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be so fast and it's gonna handle so well, dude, because it's small and light and easy to maneuver. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to an off-road race. I'm gonna say, we want activities. No, we want events. We want an off-road race, but we don't want the same ones that we always do. I want to try to do one a little bit different. Silver off-road sprint race. Let's try this. And there's something to fast travel to right there. All right, so we're going to give this thing a go. We're not going to race too much with it because you guys will see a ton of this in the future when we start playing online races. But um, I at least wanted to check it out. We spent so much time with it in this video so far. We got to see it in action. Drift continuously for 328 yards and win the race? I think we could do that. We've got five to one odds, I'll take it. Gotta throw some uh, throw some shapes in there, throw some drifts. <laughs> this thing looks so nuts. What are those, is, is that a zombie woman eating ice cream? Is that what's on the side of this thing? I'm not even sure. I think it looks sick though. All right, Ooh, we've got another bug in here. Oh gosh. Okay, we're right on the cliff side and there's a jump coming up. I didn't like that. Not one bit. Woo! Kind of a sketchy area. Let's see what we do here, boys. Quite get the entire drift through there. Now we are dominating like I thought we were going to, dude. I honestly thought we were gonna completely dominate. I feel like our X6 is a pretty good off-road vehicle, and I'm not I'm not super impressed with this. That guy down at first is actually just trying to link that drift. We missed it. But yeah, that guy in first place is actually kind of going off. We're gonna see if we can catch him. I don't know if it's just the race. This might be a, a very competitive race. We don't do too much off-road racing. We're in fourth place right now. We're gonna be okay. We've got two miles left. Here's where we're starting to catch up. Woo! All right. Back in the first where we want to be. This might just be a challenging race. And we, I mean, we haven't executed it flawlessly by any means. I feel like off-roading is usually pretty close too. I don't know. Oh, we just missed it. Can't let it 
catch me. Missed a nice easy checkpoint there. We're okay though. I mean, it feels nice. It's so small. It's easy to throw around corners and stuff. And I think that's, I think that's where it's really gonna come out on top. I don't know. It's interesting. Like I said, we didn't completely pull ahead in the start like I was expecting. So I'm not sure what to make of it. Obviously, stats-wise, it's a great car. But it almost kind of feels like something's missing. We might, I mean, we're obviously definitely going to get the Bel Air. That's our last derelict car we have to find. We're going to do that sometime in the next few episodes. We might try that one as off-road too. I don't really see anything else we would use it for, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. This thing is definitely very, very interesting. So I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed.